Bhagavad Gita, text 2.13 Just as the embodied soul experiences changes of body, such as childhood, adulthood and old age, so similarly it will acquire another body after death. Wise persons are not deluded about this change. In this verse, the word dihinaha is singular. However, Krishna is not saying that there is only one soul appearing to be embodied as many, but rather a particular class of souls, those presently deluded in material life. Were this not so, it would contradict the plural usage in the previous verse, sarve vayam. Although Krishna is clearly speaking about the soul in these verses, Madhusudana Saraswati offers an interpretation in an effort to establish Advaita Vedanta, in which she says that Sarve Vayam, all of us, in verse 12, refers to the multiplicity of material bodies previously mentioned. Krishna, Arjuna, and the other kings, Aham, Tvam, Jana, Deepaha. These forced reading contradicts the explicit teaching in the Gita as to the eternality of Krishna's form. It is the individual soul in everybody that remains constant amidst changing bodies. Were the self the body it would not remember the changes from childhood to youth to old age mentioned in this verse. For each of these bodies is different, and an impression formed in one's person cannot produce recollection in another. Thus the recollection of different bodies that we experience is a result of being different from them and changeless ourselves. Krishna implies that no one laments when a child's body is replaced by an adult body. Nor do they cry when an adult body changes into an old age body. Even if some do lament in this later case, Bhishma and Trona, upon dying in battle, will get young bodies. Therefore, either from the material or spiritual point of view, Arjuna has no cause to lament. Even so, Arjuna's mind is disturbed due to its being attached to sense objects in the form of his relatives' bodies. Thus Krishna next distinguishes the self from the subtle mental-emotional body.